I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on data analysis. In this video, we'll see a beautiful application of cumulative frequency. For a group data, we'll now be in a position to estimate median fairly accurately. And then we'll also find the quartiles and plot box and whisker diagram. To begin with, we are given marks obtained by 80 students and with these marks we are going to first make cumulative frequency graph and then box and whisker diagram. So the first step here is to add a column to cumulative frequency. Now cumulative frequency is the total frequency up to the given point. So the total frequency up to 10 that is is given to us as 2. Now up to 20 it is 2 plus 4 just add them up so it is 4 plus 2 as 6 and now we'll add 6 to 6 to get up to 30 which becomes 12 and for 9 it'll be 12 plus 9 which is 21 and for 11 we'll add 11 to 21 so we get 32 and now we are going to add 18 to 32 so we get 50 and then we add 16 to 50 so we get 66 and then we add 8 to 66 we get 74 and then 4 to 74 will give us 78 and then adding 2 to 78 we get cumulative frequency of 80. So these cumulative frequencies represent the number of students who scored marks up to the maximum of 10, 20, 30 and so on, right? So, so we could show that this is actually marks obtained by students, right? So total students up to this point, right? So this will represent marks represented by cumulative frequency, right? So, so the marks represented are what? So marks represented are up to 10 in this case, right? This is less than or equal to 10. This one is less than or equal to 20. That one is less than or equal to 30. And so on, correct? Up to here, which is less than or equal to 100. So that gives you the coordinate points on the cumulative frequency graph, correct? So we'll now plot these points here and see our graph. So we'll plot this cumulative frequency on the vertical axis and marks on the horizontal axis. So I've taken 10 by 10 graph. So each mark here is 10 units, right? So this is all 10 units. So we'll mark this as 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Similarly, here we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100, right? So that is 100 for us. Okay. So first step is, let's plot these points. So we always mark this point at the maximum, right? So the points on the graph are plotted at the upper limit right so this is less than or equal to 10 so 2 will be at 10 so at 10 we'll have this point which is 2 now each mark is 10 here so 2 will be kind of let's say like this right so that becomes our first point and then we have 6 for 20 right 6 for 20 is slightly more than half this is 10 so let's say that is 6 for 20 then we have 12 for 30 so for 30, we have slightly more than 10, so 12. For 40, we have 21. So for 40, we have 21. For 50, we have 32. So for 50, we have 10, 20, 32. Then for, it's better to write. Okay, let me just fill this up, okay. It'll be better. 
Okay, so we are now looking for 60, it is 50. So 60, it is, we have 20, 40, and 10, 50. For 70, it is 66. So 60, 5, and 1, 66. For 80, it is 74. For 80, it is, uh, so here we have uh, 20, 40, 60, 74. For 90, it is 78, so we are approaching 80. And for 100, it is 80, right? So we kind of approach this point. So that is S-shaped graph which we have got. So let me connect these points. So we get this graph, which is a cumulative frequency. Normally you see this as a S-shaped graph, fairly accurately it has been drawn here. So that becomes the graph. Now, from this graph, we can calculate the median. Median is 50% mark, correct? So, so median, uh, let me cal do the calculations here. So median is 50th percentile, right? So it is a 50% mark. So 50% of 80 is what? So to calculate this, we have to check the value at 50% of 80. So 80 times 0 0.50, which is equal to 40. So for a mark of 40, we will check for a mark, for a for cumulative frequency of 40, we will check the marks. That is what we want to. So 20 and this is 40 for us, correct? So for 40, we'll go and then check what do we get? So it seems it is around 55. So what the value which we get here is, this is for 40. The value which we get here is, let me write here 55, okay. So, so for 40, so the cumulative frequency of 40 actually relates to 55 marks as you can see here so that becomes the median for us correct and now let's find the quartiles so the lower quartile is 25 percent mark right so so what is 25 percent of 80 so we'll be at 80 times 0 0.25, which is half of this, which is 20, correct? So now at 20, we will check the mark. So at 20, it is kind of here. Slightly less than 40. So we get this as so for the cumulative frequency of 20, the mark obtained is 39, right, as shown here in the diagram. This is for 20. And this we are reading as 39. Now, the upper quartile is the 75% mark, correct? Three-fourth, right? Three-fourth will be 60 in this case. We take an easy values to understand the, the graph, right? So making our calculations simple. That's the whole idea. Now, for 60, this is 60 mark. On the cumulative frequency graph, we get a value which is around this. We can read this as in between 60 and 70. So let's take this as at cumulative frequency of 60. What we read as is less than 70. Between, so we'll say 66 is the mark. So we're reading this as 66 for 60. Do you get an idea? Correct? So, so that is how we get our quartiles, correct? So the lower quartile, which is Q1, 
is 39, median is Q2, and Q3 is the upper quartile. Right? Now, once we know these quartiles, and we also know our lowest and the highest mark, we can actually make the box and whisker diagram. Correct? So that is the whole idea. So the distribution of mark is actually from 10 to 100. Correct? So we are only checking the upper limits. Right? So I hope that point is absolutely clear. So let me uh, sketch this here. So to sketch the box and whisker diagram, we'll actually take the numbers from 10. So let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right? So that is 100 for us. Correct? So that becomes the scale for us, 10 to 100. Now, in this, we have the, the quartile. The lower quartile for us is 39. So 10, so 20, 30, 40, somewhere here, right? So that is your lower quartile. Median is 55. So this is 10, let's write 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, correct. So we have here 39, and then we have median at 55, so 50, 60, somewhere here, okay, 55, and the upper quartile is at 60, very 66, somewhere there, correct? So we can now sketch the box and whisker diagram which is like this. Correct? That is the lower limit, 10. And that is the higher limit, 100. Is that clear to you, right? So these are the marks obtained by the students, right? So this illustrate the box and whisker plot. Is that clear? So with the help of a cumulative frequency diagram, as you have seen here, we can actually calculate the quartiles very easily, right? They are always an estimate. And then we can actually plot the box and whisker diagram as shown here. I hope you understand and appreciate these steps. Now, key things to remember here is that we are always considering the, the upper limit, right, of the lowest range, right? So the point on the graphs are plotted at the upper limit. So note, let me write down a note here. Points are taken at upper limit. Therefore, you notice that we begin with 10 and end with 100. When you're using cumulative frequency, it is up to the mark 10 that there were two students. Perfect. So that is how we actually plot it. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.